and Tipe Shonen Speaks. Who actually thought it was a great idea to make a big budget board game tie-in? This is why the Hollywood system is failing. License something popular, butcher the original source material, put some crap load of money into the film, put some more crap load of money toward advertising, and expect to get a profit. I'll get this out of the way. It's Battleship. I thought Hollywood would stay away from movie adaptation based on board games ever since Robot Chicken made fun of that concept. To be fair, I'm aware there's another board game movie called Clue. That one actually worked because it was cheesy, over the top, and even had Tim Curry in it. So I let that one slide. However, because of the creative bankruptcy of Hollywood, I become irritated. They blew it with Dragon Ball, Avatar, I mean, The Last Airbender, and even G.I. Joe. And for some odd reason, they are still making movies. Okay, I knew it wouldn't be a critical hit everybody was expecting, but I tried to give Battleship a chance. At first, I expected a military conflict movie similar to The Hunt for Red October or 13 Days. Instead, I got something like this. There is no doubt this movie was made to attempt to cash in Michael Bay. Gigantic robots from space invading a country complete with massive explosion and special effects. No attempts were made to deviate the default or at least try to deviate from the default. If you wanted to head that route, just make a Michael Bay movie. Oh wait, forget what I said. If you haven't guessed what the story is about, it's about a group of aliens invading a country and it's up to the Earthlings to fend for themselves. Sounds familiar? At least in Battle LA, despite its ridiculous premise, it was actually based on an actual alien conspiracy theory. As for Battleship, there's no reason to have a premise like this. In the original game, there's no such thing as aliens. Guess what? I look at the manuals, the online manuals, and even the box itself. And guess what? Not a single alien reference. Because of this critical flaw, it is unlikely I'm going to watch some aliens blow some crap up for an explosion and special effects. Unfortunately, even the actors doesn't make this movie any better. Rihanna, please. Taylor becoming a douchebag by offering chicken burritos? No comment. Brooklyn Decker as a token love interest? Eh. Just your typical damsel in distress, or so I claim. Hey, wait a minute. We have aliens from outer space invading a country, massive explosion of special effects, a douchebag hero, a token love interest, a token black person, and have it based on a popular franchise for tie-in purposes. I give up. Just dust off your board game collection and play Battleship. It's less expensive and have less ads sticking in your face. For the last time, I don't care about the subway promotion. This is Andy Pashona Speaks, and I suck your battleship. Hey, somebody appreciate that reference. Fire away. Another alien-based movie?